In this tutorial, we're gonna mess around with ornament curves. It's more of a walkthrough than a tutorial. I hope you like it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and we're gonna make this piece that you see in front of you right now. Go into Google, type in ornament curves, find this image, download it, go into Blender. Let me turn on my screen recording and select the default cube x delete numpad 7 for top orthographic view and to minimize that shift a and we're going to add a image reference find that image you just downloaded go to the object data properties make it transparent to 0 0.5 send it to the back make it gz minus 10 click yep let's move now and let's make sure we can't select this image by accident by making sure that it's not selectable like that all right now because we can just mirror the other sides we only have to do one quarter and we're not going to do this exactly we're going to do a variant of this because i want to <laughs> let's use a curve start off with a bezier curve press g bring it up over here tab edit mode and select the, this edge over here Press G, chuck it in over here. And you can just press R to rotate it. And currently you can see it looks a bit blocky. We'll fix that by improving the resolution. Select this, press G, chuck it to about somewhere there should be fine. R to rotate it. And press G and lift this up quite tricky when you first G bring it down it's a little bit tricky when you first start working with the stuff but you get the hang of it pretty quickly yeah this is not so much a tutorial as a walkthrough so it might be a little bit boring for most but if you are watching please don't forget to like and subscribe your support is well appreciated all right so this is going to be quite simple press g chuck it over i guess what we could do over here is just select this right click subdivide press g chuck this over here r to rotate it so it's out of the way and let's press g and just bring this i don't know over there should be fine Rotate a little bit more in. Take a little bit more down like that. And then we can select this. Okay. So we want to select these two parts here. Right click, subdivide. I'm going to select this point here. Press X, delete that vertices. Go over here, press G, rotate it, G, press E to extrude, rotate it, G, perhaps I should select these two, subdivide again, select this middle piece, X, delete vertices, select this, press G, chuck it over here and then press R, rotate this around and let's do the same over here and this should be good enough, I could make it even more perfect but what the heck right so the first thing we want to do is improve the resolution so it doesn't look so blocky so we're going to go and increase the resolution let's make it let's go crazy and make this 300 now it looks super smooth next thing you want to do is go to your geometry give it some thickness maybe of 0.015 should be good enough and increase the resolution to I don't know 32 which is just crazy and fill the caps next thing you want to do is select these edges here we can turn on x-ray mode and you can press alt a and we can just hold on Alt A. Oh, I'm doing something wrong. Control. Alt S, sorry. Bring it in. You can kind of see what's going on here. 
alt s and from the looks of things i would like to click on these two subdivide this let's click on this press g and just get it slightly better shape alt s make this a little bit thicker over here i think it just makes it a bit more interesting and then over here alt s bring it in the yeah, alt s bring it in obviously it needs to gradually get thinner and thinner alt s and up here alt s make it really really thin and we've got something to work with yeah just like that we've created this beautiful ornament style but let's mess with the profile quickly so it looks a little bit more interesting so let's go over here so we can view it by the thickness and let's do this And we can also do this. And just change the shape to a profile that we like. And just take your time with this, have some fun. molding let's try that there we go so we're using crown molding in this case a preset that we could modify slightly if we like I'm aware this is so much I should have done this for my crown molding tutorial oh, the more you know I didn't even know about this preset okay so today was already a win and pad seven, okay, there we go. It doesn't look like crown molding anymore. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. Let's go back to the crown molding preset. And let's just actually take a look at the other presets. Perhaps one of the other ones are more interesting. Steps. No, I'm going to use crown molding. Number seven and I'm going to bring this down. Yeah. Okay, cool, we'll work with that. All right, so I'm quite happy with that. The next thing we want to do, on pad seven, is, this is the part that I haven't figured out how to do it perfectly yet, but let's click over here, press Alt T. Oh, that's not it, hold on. Control T, yes, Control T and type in, I don't know, let's start off with, 1080. Take a look at that. Yeah, that's quite nice. Sticker parts need to have high ones. 1080 should be fine. Control T, 1080. See, now the problem with that is I don't like that so much. Numpad 7. Control T. And I'm just trying to get the right amount so it looks more natural. The problem with this is Control Z is that I probably have to go in the opposite direction. Let's go Control T minus 1080. No, that's not it. Control T 1080. Control T 1080. 
there we go that looks a lot smoother and now when I do this it's going to remove the other bits that sucks control T 1080 control T 360 Control T 360 Control T 360 Control T and I'm just gonna move the, the surrounded till I get a shape that feels more aligned. Go. Control T. Then Control T. Just spin this around until I get a shape that I like. We lost this one, so we're going to press Control T. 108 and control T let's go crazy let's make this 36 uh, no nope. 2160 control undo control T 108 should be fine okay cool so we've created our beautiful twist and next thing we want to do is tab object mode and uh, let's quickly just give this a material and view this from the material viewport click new and I'm just going to make this silver 0 0.15 and just change the render settings to few things that I like especially when you're working in Eevee to make it really pop and we can add a modifier mirror modifier but in this case we want to use an empty shift a mesh we're gonna use, oh, shift a empty plane axis click on this There we go. X and Y. So that's looking pretty good. Now we can just continue with this and decide what we want to include and incorporate. Um, now to save some time, what we could do is we could duplicate this, but eh, let's not save time. Shift A curve, Bezier curve, G, one mistake I'm doing here is I'm not naming my, my curves, there's too many of them there, it's going to get absolutely crazy if I lose track of things, so that's a bad move, probably should rename things ASAP, let's bring this all the way down here, rotate it, G rotate it. Wow, this goes almost all the way. Rotate. Here we go. Press E. Take the other way. G. All right. This is kind of fun. Select these two points. I can press S and scale this down. Okay, that's useful. Can I just select a single point and scale it down? Oh, I can. That's super useful. Okay. 
Cool. Scale this in, yeah. S. Perhaps I'm just going to do this. It's quicker. Right click, subdivide, delete, select this vertice, chuck it over here, rotate this. I'm actually just going to put this over here. Press E. Subdivide. Delete that. Chuck it over here. I think this is going to have to be good enough for this example. And now we can go to the modifiers. Let's increase the resolution so it's better quality. Let's go crazy and make it 300. And make this depth 0 0.015. And increase the resolution to 32. And now we kind of have to control with alt s scale this down and just kind of get this in shape let's turn on wireframe mode on alt s okay between this point and this point i would prefer to add another subdivision purely to alt s this and scale it up a bit select this alt s make this super thin alt s make that a little bit thicker alt s all right that's looking fine and just for fun i think we're gonna well, let's finish this first before we j jump the gun. But can we select this and just press Shift D and duplicate this part here? Okay, that's going to save some time. Well, hopefully it will. Cool, let's move this in place. S, scale this out, R, rotate this, press Alt S, scale this puppy out, make it nice and thick, Alt S, scale that in, Alt S, Chuck the server there, rotate it like that, select these two points, right click, subdivide, select this point here, press G, Alt S, scale this up, select this point here, hold and shift, select this point here, Alt, right click, subdivide, this point here, Alt S, Let this point here, press G, chuck it over there, change the angle slightly like that. And I think that will be good enough. And 
just before I lose track, let's just finish the profile quickly. I'm just going to use the preset of the crown molding on everything. And I'm also just going to... Perhaps I shouldn't rotate it. Let's have that being the rotation piece and this not being a rotation piece. That might be interesting, but more importantly, it will save time. Um, all right, so I guess all we can do now is select, hold and shift, select all these pieces here. Or better yet, let's just use this piece, this section here. Shift D to duplicate. R to rotate. I'm still 100% in top orthographic view. You might run into problems if you change your view angle. Based on this, I can press X and dissolve that. Select that, select that. Right click, subdivide, select that. X, delete vertices, select this. G, chuck this over here. Rotate it to about there. Select this, Alt S. Ah, it's actually good practice. Alt S. Rotate. And for this piece, I'm going to press Control T. 316, mix it up. Because why not? And now it's just this piece looks very similar to Shift D. This piece of here. Yeah. So it will save some time if I just duplicate this and move this into place. Yes, bring it in. G. There we go. Alt S, scale this in, make it nice and thin. Control T, one O eight O. And now that that piece is done. Let's do those circular pieces there. So I'm going to select this again. Shift D. Rotate. G. G. Get this in place. Rotate this. Zoom in. Scale it out. And we'll leave that one normal. Because this one is so similar to the other one. Let's select all the vertices. Shift D. And once again, just move everything in place. Alt 
int s g s to scale it in r to rotate it slightly Ah, that's fine. Quite happy with that. And perhaps I should just do this piece at the bottom, yeah? Shift D. Rotate. Rotate. Alt S, scale this all the way in between these two points here. Yeah. When I right click, subdivide, press Alt S, scale it out. Chuck it in place, something like that should be fine. And if you want, you could actually put this on the line. My doggy's having a cry, like a bad dream. I don't know the background okay there we go that's looking fine what else could we do yeah I mean, we could add every single piece but it just might take a little bit too long let's uh let's add these balls yeah but before we do maybe we should make this one rotate alt t 360 alt t 360 Alt T three six zero. Take a look. Alt T three six zero. Like this. Alt T three six zero. And then this last piece. Alt T three six zero. T and now we just move this until we get a shape that we like that we feel connects this properly yeah I think seems to be the spot now we need to sort this out control T control T try this again control T Ooh. Okay, cool, I'll leave it like that. I mean, obviously for this, we'll set to add that modifier. And select that same empty. And the Y axis as well. And give it a material. And we're gonna make this gold zero point one five let's add the balls shift A 
I'll press tab object mode. Shift A, let's use mesh, UV sphere, S 0 0.1, G, right click, shade smooth, S, scale this down, something like that. That should be appropriate. And we can click on this over here. And if you remember, we've done a, something on this before. We can copy this material, select this new, and paste this material, which is super easy to do. Now we just press Shift D. And we could go through the process of not making it perfectly round. I haven't decided if we want to do in this example. Oh gosh, I know I'm going to do it. Edit. Proportional editing. Select the point. Press G. Just got the mouse wheel so it's stretching out more like an egg of sorts. There you go. And Tab, object mode, select this. Tab, edit mode, select the random point, G. Just making it not look so round. Sometimes something looks better because of its imperfections, I guess. That's what I'm going for. Shift A, well, let's just select this. Shift D. and based on this from what I see tab edit mode give it a second to load alt s while wow, my computer struggling who would have thought turn off proportional editing alt s Press G, move this into a better position. Actually, I need to try and speed this up because I can't work when it's moving this slow. Let's try solid view mode. It has a lot less to think about now, so hopefully it will move. Because I've made the resolution so high on this that on my potato PC it's actually struggling. I'm just going to have to settle for what I've got. So I was probably going to suffer through this, but I think my computer has reached its wall. S. Oh my goodness. This is surprisingly bad. Three, two, one. I'll just leave it like that. Tab, object mode. All right. And I'm just going to shift select all of this. Make sure that's selected. J for join, sorry, control J.
don't think I can because they're technically still curves. I have to change them. You know what? I don't really have a lifetime to wait, so I'll just select these over here. Press Control J. Let's make this the active element. Control J. And once again, uh, use the mirror modifier. Choose this empty and do it on the y axis as well. Remove that image. Go into our render view. Let's add a environmental texture. You can go to HDR Haven to find yourself a free HDR image. I'll use one of the ones I have already downloaded. I would have loved to go further, but one day when I get a better PC, I'll be able to spend more time on stuff like this. I need to clean this out at some point. Here we go. Give it a second to load. I don't like the camera view. That's quite interesting. Deselect everything. Control Alt Numpad Zero. Select your camera. Press G. And perhaps go to the object data properties, the properties of the camera and just scale this out just a tad so we can capture this in all its beauty. And what else can we do? Volumetrics, let's make this two. Volumetric shadow, turn on. Performance, high quality normals. Let's also press Shift A, Mesh, Plane, S20. And give this an environmental texture that's glossy. Zero point two, zero point one five. Change the light, just change the floor to maybe. something that can make this pop like that and then just change the color of the light or the type of light sun one zero we don't actually need a light source to be honest spotlight 100 it's a point light Okay, there we go. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. The only thing I need to double check to make sure this is not going into the mesh. It is. So press this. G, Z. Put it down. View this now. Perhaps choose a more interesting angle to get this. It's almost like a jewelry piece now. Get this in all its glory. But yeah, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Ah, I have to get it from there. Control Alt and Pad Zero. There we go and render image.